is what I want to share with you guys today. God will judge all evil doers. Let me tell you, our anger must not block our confidence in God's ability to defeat evil. First thing we need is not to believe everything out there we see on TV. You know, because the fake news calls evil good and good evil. So everything that you see out there in the news, don't believe it. You know what I mean? Because it's not true. Believe what God's word is, prayer, you know what I mean? Seek God. But what I, the scripture I would like to share with you guys today is in the book of Psalms 52. And we're going to be reading this is a Psalm of David from verse 3 through verse 9. Listen to what God's word says. This is the good news. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. It says, You love evil rather than good, falsehood rather than speaking the truth. You love every harmful word. Oh, you deceitful tongue. Surely God will bring you down to everlasting ruin. He will snatch you up and tear you from your tents. He will uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous will see and fear. They will laugh at him, saying, Here now is the man who did not make God his stronghold, but trusted in his great wealth and grew strong by destroying others. Let me tell you, the, the evil will be judged. You see what, what it says here. This is... This is this is what is going to happen. You see, and, and a lot of the thing is, a lot of times we're like, oh, my God, you know, there's so much evil out there. Why does God permit evil? In the long run, he will be snatched. Amen. It says, but I am an olive tree. Verse eight, flourishing in the house of God. That's what we need to be. We need to be that olive tree just keeps flourishing in God's house in I trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever I will praise you forever for what you have done in your name I will hope for your name is good I will praise you in the presence of my saints keep going to church keep seeking God keep seeking God and don't worry about well pray for the evil but what I want to tell you is don't block yourself, you know, don't like, you know, like what I said in the beginning, you know, don't block, you know, our, our mind and, and our confidence in God, because we see all this evil happening out there. Just trust in the Lord, like, like Proverbs, um, um, three says, trust in the Lord and lean not in our own understanding, acknowledge him in all his ways and he will make our path straight. That's what we need to do. We need to trust in the Lord, not lean on our own thinking and our own mind. Oh, and see all the fake news out there that everything that's happening. Just trust God, pray, seek him, get in his word. And God is in the throne and he's in control. Amen. So that's the word I have for somebody out there today. God bless you. And for me too. God bless.